the exercises the first question is to correct the names we already know that titles and the names that follow must have the first letters capitalized now in miss singla miss is the title hence m has to be capitalized and singla which is the name must have capital s likewise major data will have the title major with capital m and name data with capital d next we have taj mahal and it will have t capital in taj and m in mahal has to be capitalized now mr kabur will have m of mr and k of kabur capitalized as mr is the title and kabur is the proper noun same is the matter with dr batra where d and b will be capitalized in birla mandir we will have b of birla and m of mandir capitalized now in miss neelam m of miss and n of neelam in capitals same is the case with queen elizabeth and lord krishna wherein queen and lord being titles will have q and l in capitals and e of elizabeth and k of krishna will be capitalized in second question we have titles of books plays or movies the first one romeo and juliet which is the title of play will have r and j of romeo and juliet capitalized but the small word and will not have any capitalization similar is the case with the lord of the god where the beginning letter t of the l of lord and g of god are capitalized the next one the secret garden is the name of a book and here t of the s of secret and g of garden are to be capitalized again in a new gift for children a in the beginning g in gift and c in children needs to be written in capital letters like romeo and juliet antony and cleopatra is also a play written by shakespeare and therefore a in antony and c in cleopatra has to be in capital letters in the owl who was afraid will have each word beginning with capital letter the book the tale of two cities written by charles dickens will have t in the tale and two along with c in cities in capitals lastly the title of the book the wind and the willows will have 
the first word the with capital T and W in wind and willows also in capital letter in the next question we have to add to the list here i will give some examples and you can add your own to the list the first one asks us to add names so we can have ram raja emmanuel along with tom and lucy in the second one we have to add villages or localities like civic lines and amritsar so we may add kherdi chiplun and markandi to the list now third one has the names of popular monuments like golden temple and india gate so we can add Taj Mahal, Birla Mandir, Raigad Fort and anything else you could think of. In fourth one, we have the names of rivers Satluj and Bees will have Narmada, Ganga, Thames added to the list. In fifth one the name of countries India and Pakistan could have addition of Sri Lanka United States of America and England it is festivals and fairs so we add Diwali Ramzan and Republic Day the seventh one is days and months so we can add days like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday after sunday and all the months that follow january hence we write february march april may june july august september october november and december after january now in the last one we have to add titles of books movies The next question is a story in which we have to use capital letters wherever is necessary. So R in Trajan, S in Shakespeare, N in Antony, C in Cleopatra, M and V in Merchant of Venice and T in Tony will be capitalized. And since the first letter of the word at the beginning of sentence 2 needs to be capitalized so i in it t in the h in he h in have and n in no has to be written in capitals one important thing is whenever we have i alone we always capitalize it so after making the changes the story has to be written in this manner
in the next exercise we have fill in the blanks with a an or some now we know that we put a or an before countable nouns and an comes before singular countable nouns that begin with vowels that is a e i o u a will be added before singular countable nouns that begin with consonants that is b c d f g h j k l m n p q r s t v w x y and z some comes before the uncountable nouns so our answers will be an owl a rose some milk a child some sugar some coffee and some cheese the eighth one is dash apples here though apples are countables we put some in the blank because apples are plural and hence we cannot put an as we know an signifies singular lastly a banana as it is singular countable noun in the next question we have to change the singular into plurals and make necessary changes to keep the sentence grammatically correct the second one a cat eats meat it will change into cats eat meat here we have changed singular cat into cats but to keep the sentence correct we need to change cats into cat likewise a cow gives milk will be rewritten as cows give milk the next one a fly is an insect will transform into flies are insects as the plural form of fly and insect is flies and insects and since we have plurals we would change is to are likewise we will change a dog is an animal to dogs are animals a pencil a pencil is like a pen will transform as pencils are like pens just as a chair is made of wood will change into chairs are made of wood not that since wood comes under uncountable nouns there is no plural form of that in ninth one apple and tree and in tenth one teacher man and woman are countable nouns so we use their plural forms hence the ninth answer is apples grow on trees and the tenth answer is teachers are men and women in our last question we need to do the opposite of what we did in the previous question that is here we change plural to singular with necessary changes first one nouns are words will be rewritten as a noun is a word remember a or an has to be placed depending on the first letter of the word so we see that noun and word which do not start with a vowel 
take up a before them and r is changed into is similarly houses have roofs will change into a house has a roof remember that just as we change is into r we also need to change have into has while the conversion takes place the fourth one horses are animals and its singular form of nouns will be written as a horse is an animal remember that an comes before animal because animal starts with a which is a vowel the fifth one cities are big towns will change as a city is a big town likewise soldiers are brave men will be converted as a soldier is a brave man the seventh eighth and ninth ones watches are small clocks roses are beautiful flowers and classrooms have blackboards will be written as a watch is a small clock a rose is a beautiful flower and a classroom has a blackboard now now in tenth one we have the plural of child that is children so our answer must be a child is not always good